below the screen is so they can run into the screener? It's a great question. Why can't he run into the screener going this way? He said, well, if he's a screener, number five is screener, number nine, you get at the uh, elbow. He's guarding me, he's in front of me. Say you're directly in front of me. And say, play me honest, like play me uh, squared up. Well, now he's never going to be able to run into the screen. That's a great question that a lot of players and coaches ask that. And my answer is, if this guy's not good enough to run that guy in a screen, he should never have the ball on a ball screen. You're not a ball screen team. Because any good point guard in the NBA, at the college level, any good high school player, if you put a chair there, this guy's going to run into the chair. Because you've got two options to go. If he beats me this way, beat me this way. Hey, I'm on the screen, I'm running him in this way. If he doesn't beat me, so he stays here, over here, then I just run him in the screen, nuts. Hey, and I run him in the screen. So if you don't have a guy that can run his primary defender in the screen, don't give him the ball on the ball screen. He's not a ball screen player, he's not a playmaker, until he can run the guy in the screen. The roller, all you gotta do on the roller is have the roll. You gotta have the roll and a baited defender, which means, say you got the ball, say you're guarding him, and I'm this guy, say you come off my screen, use it, and say I, you pass it to me. You gotta have a finish, and then you've also gotta have a catch, hit middle, if there's a rotating defender, and then you've got to have a pop and a pop shot fake get downhill. Those are the four main ones for the, for the screener. And then also if you reject, you've got to have a space cut, which means say you reject, so you reject the screen going that way. You've got to have this ability to get here for a shot or shuffle in the space a little bounce pass. Yeah, good Questions on any of that? I know I flew through that last one, just because I wanted to cover shooting thoroughly. A question on Wall Street. So flat ball screen is actually the exact same thing. Notice what we do, we put our butt to the rim. We should have the exact same options. Because notice my butt's right where I wanted to go. We'd have the tight wrap, we'd use it both ways. That's why the flat ball screens are so effective. It's because we go both ways. What coaches have figured out at the lower levels, the NBA level and at college levels, the high, the best programs, they all said, this is a flat ball screen, basically. It's just an angry flat ball screen. So that's why they do it. I just want you to open up your thinking. Watch the NBA playoffs and watch where they set the screens. And if you watch good college teams, their coaches are a little bit more comfortable with what they call targeting, which means they set the screen here, and at the last second, they change angle and kind of get that bottom hip. Or they're here, and if they ice you or down you, force you to the baseline, they just take that. But look at this. If I'm here and I need to change my angle, it's a pivot. Whereas if I'm here, I have to completely square up and turn. So it's just a lot easier to go from here to there than it is if you're here and I have to fully kind of restream. Any other questions? I know I'm running out of time. Questions? All right, tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow morning I'm actually going to do a workout. Today was more about teaching. Tomorrow you're going to see a bunch of drills. It's not going to be any teaching. It's going to be drills.